My work at the University of Florida with ants has involved biological control of imported fire ant. This is a colony of uh, red imported fire ants, and the fire ants can have thousands to hundreds of thousands of, of individuals in every colony. So the idea that we had was to survey South America for natural enemies, the native range of the fire ant in South America for its natural enemies, then bring them into this country, release them, and then, uh, then try to obtain control. That would be a sustainable type of control so that uh, the ants would be killed by their natural enemies and then not be able to reinfest. One was a decapitating fly. That particular fly would hover above the ants and dart in and lay an egg right at the base of the, uh, of the leg of the ant. The egg then hatches and the maggot burrows into the ant, crawls up into its head, eats out the contents of it he its head, and then when it's ready to emerge, it's, it releases an enzyme so the ant's head falls off and then the fly emerges through the mouth parts of the ant. After the fly emerges, of course, it's going to search out other ants lay its eggs in, in them, and you end up with, uh, with establishment of a natural enemy from South America. <laughs> <laughs>